all right um but it still seemed like he could have a conversation still right but he was he was there right but he could still hold a conversation so we're walking now and we started talking so he, so he said to me while we we're making our way following google maps he's like you're lucky that you actually met you met me so i'm like okay i'm like i'm like okay all right um why and he's like you don't know i'm like why he's like you're a black guy so i'm like okay okay this is an interesting conversation let me start pressing and see where this goes so i'm like he's like and then i'm like what do you mean because i'm a black guy then he's like well the japanese people won't the japanese won't help you um so i'm like what do you mean i'm like in my mind i'm like okay i live in japan i know that i've been lost before even though that's not the case but i'm just trying to let this guy think he's helping me just because at least he's calmed calmed down a little bit now right so so and japanese people have actually helped me sometimes not a lot when it comes down to like finding where i'm going sometimes uh the longer i've lived here i realize that occurrences are a lot less because i guess i've been here longer um so anyways that's beside the point so now he's like i'm like okay so i'm like that's not true because people have helped me before and then he's like well asians think black people are dangerous I'm like, okay, because remember, I'm I'm pressing him, you know, asking him, you know, okay, like, why do you think that? Why wouldn't Japanese people help me? And then he's like, well, you know, Asians think black people are dangerous. So I'm like, okay, so now I'm in a position now where I met this guy. I don't know him. He does not know me. He does not know what I do. I don't know what he does, right? But he's saying these things. We're having this encounter. So anyways, what, what, he's talking to me, and I'm like, what are the odds? So I'm like, okay, um, why do you think black people are dangerous? And I ask him, do you think I'm dangerous, right? Because I'm just like, okay, I'm pulling my bag, you know, like we're ta we've been talking for maybe like seven minutes. Do you think I'm dangerous? So now he said to me, I was asking him like, where did this idea come from? So like when I was asking him, like he seemed almost a bit frustrated in explaining. Either he thought I was naive, maybe I'm not sure, this is just me assuming, or he's just like, look, you don't know right so he stopped in his tracks and then he held his face and he's like spent like maybe like a good like three seconds or so and he's just there like seeming like this guy's just being stressed out by me asking this question and then he said to me um a white man taught me verbatim a white man taught me so he was taught by someone else that black people were dangerous not through <sighs> ladies and gentlemen I always knew this day would come. I always knew the day would come where this particular topic of conversation would be in the forefront, right? I may have touched on it in a couple of videos in the past, maybe a couple of live streams here and there, but this is the day that we actually go ahead and uh, rip this some bitch off like a band-aid and really get to the meat and potatoes of what some people may call a very controversial topic of conversation. Shout out to the Black Experience in Japan for sharing this story. The clip that I used is not the complete video clip, but it's enough to get my point across in the description area below. I will leave the link to the entire video, okay? I'm not gonna be the first African-American, Black American to tell you this, and I damn sure ain't gonna be the last. When it comes to negative and false perceptions of certain groups of people. Sometimes it comes from one group perpetuating that narrative over another. Now, I don't want you to think that this video was meant to cause division in any capacity, but I would say this video was meant to raise awareness and it's meant to just literally have the conversation. I'm not mad about anything. I'm not upset about anything, mainly because nothing that any nothing that anybody has said in reference to individuals who look like me have complicated my experience abroad. All right? And in the particular video that you that you watched, um it didn't seem to complicate that brother's experience as well. But in truth and reality, ladies and gentlemen, there are people out there who will literally say 
you should not hang around with, you should not entertain, you should not interact with, communicate with, or any of the like with African American, Black American men, because these types of guys are extremely dangerous, right? If they come to your country, they are only there to ruin the women and mess everything up. And, you know, you don't want to be around them because these guys represent the worst parts of American society. Maybe you don't hear them in those words, but, you know, maybe that's not verbatim. But, you know, you can kind of sum it up in that regard when you hear people perpetuating negative narratives or stereotypes about a particular group of people that look like I. Okay. Now, I have even heard, even you know, this is this an experience that happened in Japan with this particular individual, this brother here. But even myself, in a place like the Philippines, I have had moments where I've had Filipinas tell me that they were told not to talk to me because I was black and black men are dangerous. Yes. And they definitely told me the race of the individual who said it. And at the time... I wasn't mad, still ain't mad, it is what it is, but the kind of vibe that I got when I first heard it was, I people just hate me. They don't want me to have access to these women that they have. They don't want me to have the ability to talk to these women, so rather than even giving me an opportunity to communicate and have them understand a little bit more about me and my vibe, I'd rather just have them completely negate and shut down any interaction with black guys in order to stop them from taking these women away from us. That's kind of what I thought. I was like, ah, people just hating, you know. And and, and, and in a lighter perspective, it is pretty much hate. <laughs> it truly is. Um, but it sucks to hear that, not even from the base level of understanding and just participating in living in a country abroad where and we're just trying to get along to get along, um, that it seems as though we can't even just interact with the locals just to, you know, immerse ourselves in the culture or, you know, just get around because of what people have said about black guys. And now in this guy's particular situation, this Japanese individual told him, you know, you better be glad that I stopped to help you because, you know, everybody in Japan or many people in Japan were told not to help you help black guys or help black people in general because you guys are bad people. And he mentioned who told him that, who shared in that narrative, who taught that ideology, right? And, you know, we're living in a different world at a different time. But I can only imagine how that could have been effective back in the day, right? I can only imagine how effective that particular talking point could have been back in the day. Think about it. In a time where, let's say the 80s and the 90s, I'm not sure if this was a complicated situation. Maybe anybody who was in the Philippines or living abroad at the time in the 80s and the 90s, my, my elder statesmen, you know, the OGs in the game, maybe you guys can tell me a little bit more about it because I was still a young buck at the time, you know. Um, maybe back then those particular talking points could have created some complications, but you know, with access to social medias and access to TVs and all this stuff right here and access to what it's like to hang around and be around and immerse yourself in a culture that represents people who look like myself, you start to realize they ain't that bad, is they? Black people ain't that bad. Black people are not as bad as people told me they were. I like hip-hop music. I like hip-hop dancing, you know, basic level, you know, things that I like basketball. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, these are things. And, and, and guess what group of individuals represent, you know, the top athletes or rappers and stuff in these particular genres of music and, you know, sports that they play. So that's kind of how the certain introduction of, you know, understanding, uh, getting to know black people. That's kind of seemingly where it comes from in most Asian countries, you know. They learn about bad, their favorite basketball players or, you know, artists and music and stuff like that. And they either want to emulate, imitate, or be like. Or R&B music, you know. Brian McKnight, that man is a fucking legend in the Philippines. Shout out to the brother who just passed away. Um, Damn. What's my man name? Keith. Keith. Goddamn. Keith. 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 Y'all know who I'm talking about. I forgot his last name. My bad. But, you know, Keith Martin, right? So, you know, you, you, you start to understand that when you interact with people, because we're, you know, actually in the country all of a sudden, it's like, yo, 
these guys aren't as bad as I thought they were. Or, these guys weren't as bad as they told me you guys were. <laughs> it's always going to sit in the back of my mind that there's going to be somebody out there that's going to have something negative to say about me. Right? I kind of I kind of accept it in the beginning. Or I accept it up front. That way there's very few things that are surprised to me about the way people interact and react to certain situations. Right? Grown ass man right now. I truly am. And uh, at this point in my life, you know, having a wife and all of that stuff, you know, there's very few things that really press me. Very few things that I'm really offended by because I'm not out here in the dating market trying to get with girls or anything. And even if I was, it's like all of my experiences in the past have been, have, have not been negatively affected by what people have had to say. That's what I will say. And I'm talking about a large majority of the time. But I would be remiss if I didn't tell you that there were certain young ladies and certain people who told me to my face that they don't like black guys. And the reason they don't like black guys is because of what they heard about black guys and what they heard about black guys in certain areas. And, you know, they're all bad and stuff. So as a result, I'm just not going to talk to them because they told me not to. I can remember one young lady. I don't remember. How, I don't even remember. It wasn't even with me or engaging with me at the time, but it was a conversation I was uh, privy to. And I think she was a Filipina living in the United States. And I want to say she was living in Chicago. And a friend of mine let me in on some very, very, very disturbing shit. Like this girl was going in on black guys. I mean, she was going ham on black guys. Like, oh, black guys are all violence and this, that, and the other. I can never see myself dating them. Now, again, the area she was in was in Chicago, right? And you guys know the scene in Chicago, in certain parts of Chicago, is bad. It's very bad. It's, it's fucked up, right? I would never visit Chicago as a result of that, of course, in the areas where all of this violence is happening. Now, I could say, to an extent, this was based off of her own personal experiences, seeing about it and hearing about it on the news as opposed to what was just said by word of mouth. But as we always say, the sum of a few don't represent us all. The sum of a few, like the, the, the situations, the issues that are happening with a small group of people who represent people who look like me doesn't mean that it represents all of us. And I kind of feel like some people, and it's going to happen, it is what it is, are going to take what they see with a small group of people and basically say it's a representation of all of them. But when it comes to people who have never had interactions with African Americans at all, a lot of what they take in a negative light comes from things that they hear from other people. It's 2022, y'all. Yeah, and it's going to date the video, but you can probably watch this video four or five years from now. It'll still resonate, but I ain't pressed by it. I thank you for it. You know, I kind of thank people for doing things like that. I know it sounds crazy, but for me, it definitely helps me weed out the people that I don't need to be fucking interacting with or communicating with at all. If you're going to allow yourself to be manipulated and or convinced otherwise about people because of what somebody said, okay? That's the way I look at it. That's the vibe I'm always going to have with it. I don't need to interact or fuck with you at all if you're going to allow what somebody says without even having the attempt at getting to know and or talking to or whatever somebody. You're just going to automatically take out, take their judgment at face value. I don't need to fuck with you anyways, right? And I, for damn sure, I'm not in a position where I feel as though I have to prove anything to anybody, right? I don't have to prove anything to none of y'all. Y'all should know who I am by now, right? See me in person, same energy on camera, same energy I have offline. It tr it's truly that way. Um, But that's just the way it is, man. It's just, it's like, you can say what you want to, but only if you allow it to affect your experience abroad will it actually complicate things for you. And I don't think you should allow it to do so. So, 
let them hate. Let the people who continue to perpetuate negative narratives continue to say the shit that they do. And if the people continue to believe in that shit, those are just not people you want to hang around with. Because trust me when I tell you, there are very few places on this place that there's very few places on this earth that you can set foot where as a black man, African-American man, you are not going to receive some love and attention. Very few places on earth. I can't even name them. I'm just not going to sit there and say everywhere you go, you're going to be all right. Because, of course, you know, everybody's bound to have preferences in different places. But as a man, man, I'm going to go ahead and leave y'all with that one, man. Y'all take care, man. Y'all stay blessed, man. Doc is out. Peace. If you enjoyed this video, man, there's a little thank you button in the corner. Y'all want to show some support to the good doc. You know, I had to throw that in there. Right? Somewhere down here in the bottom. If y'all want to look out for the boys, say, yo, doc, you really cranking this content out. And I fucks with you, big homie. Little homie, if I'm younger than y'all. <laughs> you know, comment section below, man. Have at it like a crack at it, yo. Y'all take care, man.